Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Tuesday and we're gonna start following Kathy around to see what's sold for us today. Hey friends, all right, um, jumping in box D here. All right. So I actually just listed this today and it already sold um, and it got a ton of interest right away. I did cross post it all the way through to my five platforms just because I knew it would sell fast. Um, so it's Lil Lily Pulitzer, just a kid's dress. Um, listed it at 50 on Posh and got an offer of 15 within like a few minutes of it being listed. So obviously I countered that and they ghosted after that. Um, and then on Facebook, somebody said, please, will you take 22? And I just kind of ignored that because it was just listed. Um, I probably would have wrote back by the end of the day and said, no, thank you, not at this time, but then it shortly sold after on Facebook for my list price, which was $30 plus ship, although I did see that the buyer got free shipping, but not out of my pocket. So I only have 384 into that dress from Once Upon a Child. So 384 into 30, I'm very happy with that. And then do we want to show how we're shipping today? Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, Facebook, that's just gonna go out in like a poly mailer. And this is a Poshmark bundle. And I don't know if this is a viewer. I know she's an Instagram friend follower. Um, yeah, so a while back, she's bought from me several times, but um, like kids clothes, like her son, I think is just under our kids' age. Oh. But this time she bought little baby girl stuff. So I didn't even know she had another baby. So that was fun. Oh. Anyway, so I was just chatting with her in the comments on the Poshmark bundle. And so, yeah, I, if you are a viewer, I think it's Michaela. Yeah, Michaela. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank but you, Michaela. If not, she's definitely an Instagram follower. Um, I think she just randomly found my shop one day, and then I don't even know if she knows that we do YouTube. So. Let me stand over here. But yeah, that's it's just fun to like, because I do that too when I'm buying stuff for my kids. It's usually from the same shops over and over just because I like their style. I like their yeah their stuff. So. That's fun. So she grabbed this. The brand is 100 Pieces, um, and it just says Mr. Fantastic on it. So that one was for her little guy. And then she bought two baby girl items. So AU. Right here. This is a peak shirt. It has a smiley on the front, and I can't remember what it says, but something on the back. <laughs> and that's new at Tag. And then DH. little baby Nike she said her daughter just turned one and just learning to walk so oh. she needed some shoes and she said she knew I was the shoe girl so <laughs> um I don't remember what the list price was for everything but her offers are always super generous like I would even accept less so if you're watching yeah you could be a little less next. generous <laughs> next time, but, um she offered me $62 for the three items I was happy to take that um the two girl items are thrifted so I have about 750 into those two. This one was my son's and I bought off Kittism for like $23. So yeah, $62. I'm still making like a 18 or so dollar profit. Awesome. So yeah. You said Michaela. Thank yeah, you Michaela. so much for the support, Michaela. All right, and then DI. New walking baby. That's, your hands <laughs> are gonna be full. Yeah. <laughs> as I'm sure, as you know already, <laughs> you've got other kids. So. All right. Um, and then I sold these on eBay. They're just some fit flops. Trying to fall. <laughs> uh, fit flop, foot flop. <laughs> these sold on eBay for $30.82 plus shipping. I bought them um, at the Goodwill for $6.99. So pretty good sale. Oh, I forgot to show you how we're shipping. So those ones are going to go. What was it, eBay? Yeah. I couldn't fit those flops. in a padded flat rate. Right? They were just a little bit too long because mm -hmm. they're 10. So I did have to pay for a box. Obviously, I charged the buyer $9.99 for shipping, but it actually is going to Maryland, so it was like 10 something. So a little out of pocket, no big deal. So that's a shoe box. And then this, because it was Poshmark, probably just do like, actually, might be good in here. Regional A. Oh, I'll fit in there pretty good. And then box E. This is big money, guys. <laughs> Not really. 
really <laughs> big money, but I'm happy this sold. So this, I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know if I showed this on a haul. I feel like I talked about it for some reason. Um, at our, some of our thrift stores, they put like a bunch of tiny toys or stuffed animals in like a one bag. So you have to buy the whole bag if you want it. Mm. So one had a Pokemon plush in it and I got that for my kids. I think the whole bag was either three or $4. Um, and it had two more plushes. So I would have paid $4 for the Pokemon on its own. So I was like, I'll just list the other two. Try to make my money back, and I did. <laughs> so this sold for 501 plus shipping. All I would right. say I have about a buck into this since I think it was three plushes. So, so I that, still made a couple bucks, or at yeah. least paid for the bag, I would say. Right. And then when my kid's done playing with the Pokemon one, we'll sell that too. But yeah, that'll just go in a poly mailer. Box H. Uh, these are just some little baby North Face fleece pants. I got these at the bin, so I have a dollar thirty-one into them. Sold them on Facebook for twelve dollars plus shipping. Those I think can fit in my small pulley. And yeah, this was another one where somebody. I don't know if when people ask questions, it kind of bumps your item, but. Someone asked if I would take $7, to which I did not respond. <laughs> and then shortly after, somebody bought it for 12 These have been listed a while, too, so it wasn't just like a new item that got a lot of traction. It was, right. I felt like the person who asked for less somehow bumped my item up and then somebody else <laughs> bought it. But I'm It sure seems to happen not, more often does, so. than not. Well, more too often for it to be yeah, a coincidence, just a right? Coincidence, so. There's got to be know. something to it. <laughs> but yeah. I wasn't gonna take seven because they were North Face, but I was probably gonna counter that person at 10, but then they sold, so happy with that. Um, if those were like a bigger size, I would get closer to like 20, but those are zero to three month baby, so $12 yeah. plus shipping is, I thought that was really good for that. Uh, you guys already saw that this sold, but I'll pull it back down. Just yeah, we get to ship it out going. today at least. Did you get a new box from it yesterday? I did, but I didn't bring them up here, so. We'll show you, I guess, after we package them. Yeah. I grabbed a few just because I think we have a couple more games that I'm going to be listing. So, yeah, but the yeah, Monopoly. Monopoly, if he did not cancel. New and gosh. New sealed. We mentioned it on yesterday's What Sold, so. Yeah. And the reason we're not using this box is because it's sold on Posh. It's under five pounds. There is a board game box, which is a technically a large flat weight. So, if you buy it on eBay or something, it's like... Mm -hmm. I think 21, 22 bucks. Yeah. It's like as much but as a board posh, game. But on it's no extra. But since I'm going to be listing some other board games, we yeah, don't that's come a good across size these box. kind of boxes that often. So in case I sell a board game not on Posh, I want to have a box for it. Yeah. So yeah, that Monopoly, if this is your first time ever watching our video and you didn't see the last one, um, it sold for $75 on Poshmark. And I paid 15 for it at Goodwill. So very good flip. Really good sale. And we, that's kind of more than we were expecting to get for yeah, it. I thought at the most that was I'd a full price offer on. Sixty. The reason I bought it is because I was like, oh, that'll probably sell for fourth quarter, like for a Christmas present or something. Yeah. And it sold. I don't know. Maybe they're using it for a Christmas present. But I don't. Yeah, care. I never know. Is <laughs> is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? I mean, I've seen it a lot, but I. I've is never it? actually seen it. <laughs> like we, I know we watched it last year, but I cannot pay attention. Or is like, it both? Like, do you watch it at Christmas time and Halloween time? I don't know. I think if you like it, you probably watch it all the all time. All the time? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's an all the time movie. But I'm just not much of a TV or movie person. I prefer YouTube and like yeah. real life stuff. Um, so these are just fair Crocs. They were new with tag. I have an average cost of goods into them of eight ninety six, and I accepted a twenty nine dollar offer on Poshmark. Um, a box. I don't you think they fit in like this sort of a box. Probably. I think so. I like using those They're regional like A's. They're like size 9, so they might be a little too long. They can be fine. So, right. I'll pull another one of those for those. Alright, and then BT. Woke up to this offer this morning. Just some Skechers animal print flats. Um, somebody, I think if they were listed at 35, the offer was for 28, which I was happy to accept because if they would have waited, they would have got the Pasha BA offer of 28 with discount shipping. So 
Um, I have $8.99 into those, so not the hugest flip, but Skechers are consistent sellers. Yeah, and when you would say not all Skechers, right? Not all, definitely. Just like yeah. in, in trend kind of things, animal print, yeah, um, like any kind of 90s look. Ones, like all these that are like air cooled memory foam, like the super lightweight flat seem to right. do really well for me. I think people just like them for like a comfort shoe. Let's see if this is a good box. Might be a little tight. It's a little too big for that one, so probably just a shoe box. Oops. Yeah, everything is dependent on style. So if you ever hear me say a brand, don't just assume everything from that right. brand is good, including something like Monopoly. Like Chris found a new inbox, real tree, like um, yeah. camo one, and it was only worth what ten bucks or something. Yeah, for like shipping, fifteen so. bucks free ship on. Yeah, which it wasn't. Are, a, it was not good. <laughs> yeah, and like I found other new inbox ones before that are not good, and then like something like this goes for a lot, and then we found one that's like Kansas. I haven't listed Kansas it yet, but City. it's like can, that one even yeah. was going for a decent amount for what it was like i wouldn't think it would be going for that much but yeah so always check comps but right for the most part like any newer type sketchers has been doing well for me again not for a huge money usually 30 right. dollars ish is about what you're gonna get for something. and again you know you might be able to source something for super cheap to where you know a 15 dollars sale is gonna get you you know 10 12 bucks so that would be worth it in our, <laughs> to us. So yeah. style maybe not, doesn't matter there yeah, as much. Yeah, I always, I find a ton more sketches than I even buy. Like you can tell these are almost new looking. I generally only buy them if they're really good shape because they only sell around 30. Yeah. Nobody's probably gonna spend 30 on really worn down. Beat down, yeah. Anything, so. Same with Crocs. I leave more Crocs than I buy and I buy a lot of Crocs, so. Yeah. All right, last sale for today so far is these Volcom board shorts, which you guys have not seen it yet, although I don't know which video is coming out first. We recorded a haul yesterday, yeah, which included these, and we wanted to get all this stuff listed before we put the haul up because normally it's like we put the haul up, haven't listed anything, and then everyone's asking, hey, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> yeah. So I tried to do listing them first, but now some stuff of them selling, might all sell yeah. before you guys even ever see the video. So anyhow, these sold today, same day I listed them for $12 plus shipping on Facebook. Um, I averaged my cost of goods on this, so it was two thirty nine for these. Um, but I remember these were only like a dollar thirty or something like that. Two thirty nine since we averaged into twelve plus ship in one day. Again, that's like a nine dollar profit, but that's good enough for me. Yeah. Um, definitely less than ten minutes of work for about nine bucks. I'm happy with that. What am I? Let me do this one. <laughs> Forgot what I was doing. <laughs> So that's gonna be the swim trunks, and we'll get this stuff all packed up. Find oh, Reese. I don't know where Reese's at. He's he must be down sneaking on the couch. Sleeping on the couch <laughs> or something. So we're gonna get this stuff packed up. I think we gotta go downstairs and get that yeah. board game box, and then we'll be right back with you guys. Reese decided to come upstairs after I begged him. <laughs> <laughs> he was just sleeping on his little bed downstairs, <laughs> wanting to be alone. But we got everything packed up. And yeah, here's that game board box, which is just a large <laughs> flat rate box, but it's got these little game pieces and it fits. So we just wrap the game in bubble wrap just so that it doesn't really shake around. Yeah, that's the internal pieces yeah. of the of the game. <laughs> and then yeah, filled the excess with some more bubble wrap. And paper and stuff. Yeah, I grabbed three just cause to have on hand. Obviously, yeah. I don't want to order a whole pack of 10, even though I'll probably never use right. that many. But. Hopefully, the other games sell on Poshmark because that just makes it easy for us. <laughs> Super easy. Yeah, when we sold that cash flow game, I took a lower offer just knowing I wouldn't have to deal with shipping yeah. it on a different platform. So. Yep. And then this box we didn't show you in our thing. So, like those little North Face pink pants, um, because they're Facebook, the pants only weighed like a, an ounce and something. Um, and I had said I'll put it in the little poly, but. Even those little polys, I think I have a few cents into. This box I have nothing into, and we have all those small boxes yeah. in our closet where, I mean, those are hard to use because like usually I'll just put something like that in a poly mailer. Right. But because this label accounted for eight ounces, I was like, oh, I'll just pull a box, put it in there. So the, that's what's still in here. Still comes in under eight. Yeah, and it's still only yeah, I the label um, or one. So use the label. Box is free. eBay tape was free because we used our coupon for that. So. And that is going to a Facebook order, so yeah. we don't really uh, 
We don't really care that much. <laughs> I should, because, like, I mean, we have over a five, like, a um, hundred five stars now. Yeah. But I want to keep that going. Cause, I think like, 111 now. It's going to be better. And usually when I'm buying something, I almost everybody only has, like, four stars or less, which... I feel like people on Facebook that are rating are a lot meaner than on other platforms, like very... <laughs> Which is interesting, because that's yeah. their actual Facebook yeah. profile attached to it, as far that as I know. That is interesting, so... Yeah, but. I've rated all of mine five stars, but there are... I've gotten almost everything I've bought canceled, like yeah. more things than I've actually received, so... Yeah. So, I don't know. It's interesting that people would rate uh, more aggressively mm -hmm. on something that is tied to their account. Yeah. I don't know. How long has Facebook been around? Since 2009? Eight, um, maybe? That's about well, when our I account know, started. I went to college in 06. 06. I think it was maybe So, a maybe that long ago. <laughs> Back then, you had to, like, be in college. And yeah, that's right. College. You had to be in college to have a Facebook group to, like, or yeah, be a Facebook EDU page. You email to sign up. So. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's what sold for us today and how we're going to ship it all out. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and we're going to get this stuff off to the post office and pick up our boys from school. And that's going to be it for the day. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.